Have you ever wondered why women live so long after their childbearing years? Hi everyone, it's Paula from Strong Chatty Chicks with a Chatty Chick side note on the grandmother hypothesis. So in 1998, anthropologists Kristen Hawkes and James O'Connell made a fascinating observation. Among the heads of people of northern Tanzania, postmenopausal women or grandmothers played a vital role in foraging and providing valuable food resources for their community. What makes this even more interesting is that compared to our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees, humans' women live considerably more years after their childbearing years. In fact, approximately one third of a woman's life is postmenopause. But we aren't the only mammals to experience this extended lifespan beyond reproductive years. Other social mammals, such as orcas and pilot whales, also have grandmothers that play a significant role in caring for their offspring's offspring. So what does the grandmother hypothesis propose? It suggests that grandmothers promote the survival of their grandchildren by providing them with food, protection, and knowledge. By taking on this caregiving role, grandmothers allow their daughters to have more children and invest more time into each child. This in turn increases the chances of passing on her genes to future generations. The grandmother hypothesis resonates in many cultures worldwide, not just hunter-gatherer societies like the Hadza people. In some cultures, grandmothers help with domestic tasks and child raising, while in others they support their family and community with agricultural work. This varies depending on cultural practices and on economic situations. Moreover, the grandmother hypothesis may offer insights into the evolution of social structures and cooperation within communities, which have been key to human success. If the extended lifespan is due to caregiving roles, it may have implications for how we address aging, health, and wellness as a society. Thank you for listening, and remember, the wisdom of grandmothers continues to shape our world in remarkable ways. Please like, follow, subscribe, and share with anyone who has a grandmother, or anyone who is a grandmother. Join us next week for a new episode of the Strong Chatty Chicks podcast, where we'll be talking about personal training. In the meantime, stay strong, and stay chatty, you strong and chatty chicks.